electronegativity. Let's understand electronegativity with the help of a very simple example. Say for example, here we have a person A and on the other side here we have a person B. Now this person A and this person B both are having a rope in between and they both are sharing this rope. And this person A and this person B both are exerting some energy in order to pull this rope. Same happens in the case of atom. Say for example, here we have atom number A and on the other side here we have atom number B. Now this atom A and this atom B have some electrons in between and the both atoms are sharing these electrons. Now atom A and atom B both will share these electrons. Of course, they both have a nucleus in between which is a positively charged and these electrons are negatively charged. So of course, these two atoms will share this electron as a result. Now the ability of these two atoms to share the electron towards themselves is actually called as the electronegativity. So the ability of any atom, the ability of this atom A and the ability of this atom B to attract these electrons towards themselves is called as electronegativity. Now here, as you can see, we have this hydrogen and this chlorine. This hydrogen and this chlorine both are atoms. We know everything in this universe wants to get stable. And same is the case for atoms. These two atoms also want to get stable and they will make a bond in between by sharing these two electrons. And the bond they will make is actually a covalent bond. Now what happens now if they both are sharing some electrons in between, hydrogen also have a nucleus and this chlorine also have a nucleus. Now the nucleus of both these atoms will attract these electrons towards itself because it's negative in charge. The ability of this hydrogen and the ability of this chlorine atom to show these electrons toward themselves is actually called as electronegativity. What is the electronegativity? The tendency of an atom in a molecule to attract the shared pair of electrons towards itself is known as electronegativity. As we discussed earlier, moreover, we can measure electronegativity on several scales. The most commonly used scale is the Pauling scale, which was designed by Linus Pauling. Here we have some factors that govern or that affects electronegativity. A greater value of nuclear charge will result in a greater value of electronegativity. This happens because an increase in nuclear charge causes electron attraction with greater force. Now, as you can see here, we have these two atoms and these two atoms are sharing these two electrons in between. Now, what happens if atom A and this atom B have some protons? In atom A, we have 15 number of protons and in atom B, we have 9 number of protons. More number of protons means more nuclear charge. Now the atom A has more nuclear charge as compared to this atom B. So it's very clear here that this atom A with the more nuclear charge have more power to attract these electrons towards itself. So as a result, atom A is more electronegative as compared to this atom B. Because atom B has less number of protons, so it means it has less nuclear charge. So that is why its attraction towards this nucleus is less as compared to atom A. So this atom B is less electronegative as compared to this atom A. So this is how nuclear charge affects on the electronegativity. A greater atomic size will result in less value of electronegativity. This happens because electrons being far away from the nucleus will experience a lesser force of attraction. Now here, as you can see, we have atom A and atom B here. Now this atom A and atom B are sharing two electrons in between. But you can see that in atom A, we have a small size of atom because here we just have two number of shells. But in atom B, we are observing three number of shells. Due to the size of atom, what happens? The nucleus here is far from these electrons as compared to this nucleus. So 
due to this atomic radius as a result the attraction of this nucleus is more for these electrons as compared to the attraction of this nucleus towards these electron so what happens due to atomic radius due to the size of atom the nucleus will be close or far from the electrons so this is how size of atom depends on the electronegativity now here we have trends of electronegativity in the periodic table as we move across a period from left to right the nuclear charge increases and the atomic size decreases therefore the value of electronegativity increases across a period in the modern periodic table now what happens here as it's very clear across the period the nuclear charge increases because the atomic number is increases the nuclear charge is increases what happens as a result now this nucleus attract the electron more towards itself now due to this the electronegativity also increases because what is electronegativity the power of an atom the power of a nucleus to attract the electron towards itself that is why as we move left to right in the periodic table electronegativity increases now here due to this this fluorine is more electronegative as compared to this boron and this beryllium because this fluorine has more nuclear charge it has more number of protons as compared to this beryllium or this boron so that is why in general when we move left to right in the period in the periodic table electronegativity increases just because of increase in the nucleo charge electronegativity down the group there is an increase in atomic number as we move up to down in the periodic table but here number of shells also increases it means atomic radius also increases as we discussed in the factors also if we have more atomic radius it means we have less electronegative due to the big size of the atom what happens that the distance between this nucleus and this electron is more due to this more distance the attraction of this nucleus for this electron is very less so due to this the electronegativity is also less that is why this potassium is less electronegative as compared to this lithium so in general when we move up to down in the periodic table electronegativity decreases due to increase in the atomic radius or in the size of the atom so yes this is all about our today's lecture If you want more such videos please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much